Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today I'm not going to necessarily do a tutorial on how to make anything. I'm going to just do a few little tips and tricks on if something breaks and how you can go about fixing it. I have a lot of people or I see a lot of things saying, oh, band snapped right in the middle as I was up, as I was, you know, looping up and everything's ruined now. I had to take it off my loom. Well, it's not really the case. I've put a, a little red band here just to we'll make that be the one that we break and I'm just going to show you that if something does break it's not actually the end of the world you can fix it so for example if we were looping up our figure and we, we're halfway there everything's looking really great we're looping up the legs oops <laughs> says she let's put that little leg back on So we're looping up, come back here foot, there we go, oh and I've dropped one right here, do you see, I looped up and I dropped it, so I'm going to zoom in, I'm going to show you how we can fix this, it's not the end of the world, all you need to do is this band needs to go and capture both of these. So couple of things you can do. You could take this one off and just put it over here for a minute until we're ready to put it back. So I've put it over here. I'm going to dig down past these bands here. All right. And I'm going to grab this band. Put it on my hook. All right. I'm actually going to put it on underneath like that because I'm going to drag it back up through the back of this peg and put it into its spot and then put that one back so it's not the end of the world we dropped a stitch but it's just caught those back all it has to do is be capturing these so let's keep going right up here we need I need a little end cap here otherwise we're not going to have much luck I just threw this together Put my end cap here we're going to dig down we're going to find those two black bands to loop across and let's see we're here we're here and if we even loop past it and then it snaps so let's take a scissor and let's snap it well firstly because we double band you just remove it and you have one band capturing it. That's not a huge problem. It was an insurance policy to have two there, but it's not going to be a huge problem. So if you had the whole thing looped up, it's okay. You've still got one band there. If it's of a stage that you can come back a bit, all you're going to do is grab the bands that you've already looped up and put them back in their spot like that. Now as you can see it looks a bit odd and they're not in the right order. The way to get them in the right order is put your hook down through that peg and twirl it around the outside of the peg and look what happens. There's the two in front, there's the one, there's your crossover and there's the other side of it. So again what are we going to do? How are we going to fix this? Let's take another band. You're going to lift that single band up, put it somewhere safe. I'm going to put it just here for the minute. All right. You have a crossover band. Lift it up and just release it from there. Now, yes, you have to remember the order in which things happened, but that's not a problem. Place your band on, dig down past these. These are the ones that we want to capture in the band. Grab your band, pull it back up through to the back side of the peg and pop it on the peg. Then you're going to, now the crossover band, do you remember? A crossover band has to go between. So it goes between these two and the next two. Well the other, the other side here is over here. See? So the crossover band needs to go between these. So all you're going to do is lift that up, 
pop it somewhere safe or keep it on your hook, whichever you're comfortable with. Drag your crossover band back over and put these two bands back. And there it's in, in its right spot. Now, what happens, for example, when you are looping up, and we'll, we'll continue. I'm not using my normal hook, so I'm feeling a bit funny here with this one. Let me change to the one I'm used to. <laughs> there we go, that feels a bit better. So we're looping up and we're looping up, looping up. Now what happens, you've looped here, you've looped here, but what happens when you forget to loop in the arms and you forget and you just come straight down to the neck and loop this in? Can you see how both of these arms are going to come apart, aren't they? Let's try it. We'll finish. Oh, a band broke. That's easy enough to fix. That was rather handy, wasn't it? So here's the one that we still have. We're going to pop that somewhere else. I'm going to just pop it over here. We know that it needs to go on here. I'm going to lift the crossover band off. This is the band that has to have a buddy with it. So I'm going to pop my new band here. Let's dig down, pull it through, and replace. And then we're going to put this one back on so that you have all four of them on there. But then we're going to take these two off, hold it, move the crossover band over, and put those back. Okay? So if you remember, I haven't looped in the arms. Going all the way up the top here. All the way up to the top. Take a pair of bands. Pull it through. Tie it off. And we're going to take this off our loom, just like normal. Now, one of the things I would recommend is definitely don't just pull this off. See, we've got another... Gosh, this is the black bands. I can see another broken band right there. See it? I couldn't have picked a better tutorial for this, because I'm going to pull that out. Now, that has left the neck with only one band. That's not very much. So let's take this off. <gasps> oh no, look. Do you see what's happened? It's all coming apart. So, there's my arms, there's my head. You're going to recapture what you can on your hook. And it is fiddly. I won't lie and tell you it's not fiddly. It's annoying. So capture those two on your hook. Okay, can we put them back on our loom? I think we can. One. Here. Like that. I'm going to put the O on here, like that. This is our head. And as you can see, it's looking very sad. Let's see if we can recapture these. Okay. Take those bands out of there. So even if... Sorry, let me move the broken bands out of the way. This is where we can see it's all broken. Oh dear. So what can we do? Look at that. That's all broken. Well, firstly, there's the other side of the bands that we want. And here's two here. So let's take that out and we can pop them back here. All right, now if you remember, when we place our bands, we go from the top to the bottom. 
All right, so we've got these two sets of bands that have to go back. So I'm going to put the first two up here. I'm going to take the next two. I'm going to lift these ones off, pop them back there, and then I'll place those there. Now, we have crossover bands here. All right, they have to go in between. So push your hook through, grab the crossover band, Again, as I said, it's fiddly. There it is. You want it to go under these two. This, these have been looped up, so it has to go under there, like that. All right. Now the next crossover band. If we pull his neck up a bit. Is here. So put your hook through. Grab it, and we'll place that there. This can go up here. So you're slowly sort of remaking what happened. Now these are the shoulders. These sets here, either side, are the shoulders. So, pop these on. Now again, when we place the bands, the shoulders go on first, don't they? Here, like that, and then those go on top. So let's do that again. Lift these up and place the shoulders and then these all right so we have to add arms we want the arms to be included in i'm going to lift this one up because it's already been looped in i'm going to put those two on my hook place the arm and replace where i've looped those up like that. Let's put the other arm on the other side. We're going to continue. We're going to loop this up and up and this time we will loop the arms in. All right. Like that now. What we're going to do get a pair of bands it's like we're doing the top here we're going to tie off here grab your pair of bands pull them through all right keep one side on your hook here we're going to put one side here on a band and you're going to splay this open and put the head through it and have those other bands on the back like that and then you will tie off one over the other like that and hold on to this and let's pull this off our loom now his arms have been locked in so that's great his head is here and all you're going to do is splay this open again and pop the band around. If nothing else, it gives his neck a bit more strength, especially seeing as we had that band break. It's about just thinking about how you can give him a bit of strength to it. All right. So what happens, for example, if something were to break in here? Okay. What happens, for example, if you see that that breaks like that I mean if that unravels the whole thing is going to come apart isn't it if this comes apart here see there's one gone and here is the other gone and it's coming apart but you know if you put your hook through this loop here, that side there, make sure that you have the crossover band in the middle and grab the other end. All right, all you need to do is grab another pair because we lost a pair, All right? And maybe I'll do this in red so you can see. So we'll grab a pair of bands, pull it through like that. All right, 
Now, what else do we have to do? There's the other crossover band. So I'm going to take my red band out, include that crossover band in the middle like that. Now, what I need to do is I wish that I could tie these all together so that it can be looped in. And I'm not going to be able to loop this in very well because this bit is up there. So I'm going to take a single band and we're just going to tie that in like that. One side is going to go through the top bit that is hooked in and you'll then grab the other side on your hook. Now I'm doing this at the front but you should really do it at the back. So I'm going to take my hook out and I want to go through that little loop there and the little loop here. I want to make sure that I'm through the loop above. Alright, grab that little black band, pull it through. I've got more than a bargain for here. There we go. And you're going to tie a slip knot and make it a tight one. And then all you need to do, I mean, is he going to look a bit odd? Yeah, because he's fallen apart. But just grab your tie-off band and pull things together a little bit and tie, tie him in like that. And you've sort of done a repair job on him. So not all is lost. You can repair things. All right, take care.